Today, in part 10 of our 10-part series on switching from the PC to the Mac, we're going to look at expose and spaces. Now, there really is no analog in Windows for either expose or spaces unless you use some kinds of third-party software. Now, both expose and spaces can be configured in system preferences, but first I'm going to give you a quick peek at what they are. Now, expose on newer Macs is toggled by F3, and on some older Macs, you can use function F11. We toggle it, and you see here, it's spread out all the windows that were on my desktop, and it also shows me what they are. Like, this is an XP virtual machine. This is a document. Here's system preferences. Then I can click on the one I want, and it moves to the front. Spaces, which is available down here, are virtual desktops. And you can have up to 26 virtual desktops in your spaces. You can move things around to different virtual desktops or spaces. And then you can pick the one that you want to go to. Now, to the configuration, let's look at Exposé first. In Exposé, you can set active corners. So you can see here, I have set the upper right-hand corner of my screen to turn on my screensaver. I set the lower left-hand corner of my screen to activate dashboard. And there are other options available as well. Down here, you can also set all of the different hotkeys so that they are what you want them to be. And down here, you can also change the hotkeys and mouse keys that activate dashboard. Now in spaces, you can add or remove spaces. So say I want to remove a row. It takes and shows me the new shape. Here I have Firefox and I have Firefox set so that it opens in every space so that if I'm working in space one and I move to space six, Firefox is still there. With iTunes, however, I have iTunes set so it always opens in space two. VMware Fusion, I have set for space two and by clicking here, I can tell it to always open in space three. Down here, you can change the keys that are used to activate spaces. Spaces can be activated with function F8. And there are other keys that you can also configure. So, expose and spaces are really handy functions that help you to work smarter on your Mac. And that concludes part 10 of our 10-part series.